For those of you that don't know, I'm Maggie, and today I am in the kitchen because we are talking about all of my very favorite kitchen items that we registered for. And I remember making a wedding registry and being a little bit overwhelmed about where to start. Now that we've been married for roughly six months or so, I thought that it would be a good time to step back and really evaluate kind of the things in our kitchen that we love and use all the time. Quick little disclaimer before we get started, this video is primarily about things other than our everyday plates and glasses. Now we love those too, we also got those from Crate and Barrel, but I didn't wanna take up a spot where I could mention something cool and unique with our everyday plates, so just know that I'll have them linked down below, and if you're curious about what they look like or how they perform, I talked about them a lot in my Vlogmas, so I'll be sure to link those specific videos where they're mentioned and shown, just in case you're curious. The first item is actually three items, and it's these Rosti nesting mixing bowls. Now, I like these for so many different reasons, and one is currently in use, but I think that this smallest size one is the one that we use the most. The best feature of these is that it comes with this little silicone bottom. So this way, when you're mixing things, your bowl's not sliding all around, making a bunch of racket, and I love that it stays in place this way. I also love that it has a pour spout, so these can be used for whipping up things like muffins or pancake mix or something that you can directly pour into your pan. This also comes in handy if you're baking and you wanna put things into your KitchenAid mixer while it's mixing, 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 and you're supposed to add dry ingredients kind of in batches. It's a really easy way to control what comes out of it. Another great feature, this nesting bowl set comes with three bowls and every size comes with its own top. You can just put a top on this and put the whole thing in your refrigerator. So it's one less thing that you have to clean, which is really, really nice. You don't have to like transfer this to a separate like storage container. Another huge feature of these is that they're dishwasher safe. They're not recommended for the microwave though, so if you needed to melt butter or something like that, I would reach for some sort of ramekin to do that and then pour it in here. These have just been wonderful. These are pretty much the only mixing bowls that I reach for, and we did get a set of like 12 glass mixing bowls that I'll use sometimes if I want something a little bit smaller than this, but these honestly are my go-to, and they are just so multi-purpose. I'm totally cheating with these because I'm actually gonna mention this entire line, but we love our cocktail glasses. I feel like Crate and Barrel has the most well-priced, very high quality glasses, and these have really held up and we use them all the time. So this comes from their Hatch line. This is the Hatch Double Old Fashion glass, and then this is their Highball glass. It's super thin thick glass that is just so easy to handle. These go in the dishwasher and wash really well. I think that they look crystal clear and still just as good as the day that we got them. And they feel really heavy and high quality for a super low price tag. The thing is, we registered for eight of each and we really wish that we would have just gotten six of each. That was a weird number. I don't know why we picked it. So definitely go with six if you're gonna do it. Just having any sort of good set of cocktail glasses, if that's your thing, is so much fun. When you have people over you can entertain and give them something that's a little bit prettier than just your normal everyday drinking glasses. It just adds a little nice touch, you know? And we love cocktails, so for us, these get used all of the time. Even if it's just us making drinks for ourselves, we use these. And one quick little plug for our shaker, there's a lot of talk about a glass shaker not being like the proper thing to use, but quite honestly, I don't care because this shaker is the easiest thing ever because the top is so easy to get off. It goes on and it has this little silicone ring, so it's very like tight and it doesn't spill anything. But so often with metal on metal shakers, I can never get the top off. And this one is seriously so easy to use. It is foolproof. So I just had to put a little plug in for that and to show you how pretty it is. I'm gonna spin you around for the next one. Kind of a weird angle that we have going on here, but I wanted you to see the fruit basket in action. And obviously this is holding much more than just fruit. This has been such a game changer for us because I remember being in my apartment and I would just have vegetables and fruit and stuff rolling all over the counter for things that don't go in the refrigerator before I get comments telling me that things ripen at different rates and I probably shouldn't have all of these things next to each other. Just know that when we go to the grocery store and buy for the week, we're gonna use it up very quickly, like within five days. So I'm not super concerned about different fruit and vegetable types being next to each other, but if that is something that bothers you, know that they actually make a three-tiered fruit basket instead and maybe that would be better for you. This is just so nice to have a contained place to put those fruits and vegetables that do need to be left out at room temperature. And this is just a pretty thing to be sitting out on the counter. Our measuring spoons and measuring cups. Oh my gosh, love these things. We're gonna start with the measuring spoons. These are from the brand OXO or OXO. I'm pretty 
pretty sure it's called OXO. It comes in just four different sizes. You have the tablespoon, teaspoon, half a teaspoon, and a fourth a teaspoon. But the coolest thing about these is that they magnet together. Now, all my life, I feel like I grew up with the measuring spoons that came on a ring and they were all connected and then you would use one and then you would throw the whole thing in the dishwasher because you didn't feel like taking them off the ring. And so this was just the perfect answer to me. I love that they're magnetic so they easily stay stored together in your drawer, but then they're also just easily taken apart so that you can use them and wash them individually. So honestly, measuring spoons are measuring spoons, but I just think that this design was so thoughtful and it's been so handy to not have to wash all of them at once. Next up are measuring cups. Now these were definitely pricey. These come from the brand All Clad. The thing is, they're so high quality. This is just something that I feel like we're gonna have forever and ever and ever. And I love these cups because you truly only need, what is this, five of them? And you have every measurement under the sun. So within this fourth cup, you can see that it has the eighth cup measurement on the inside. So you don't need like odd sized measuring cups or anything because they're all kind of like embedded within each of these cups. So we can use this one cup measurer for so many different things because on the inside you can see that it has a fourth cup, half cup, and three fourths cup marked within this one measuring cup. So it's just way fewer dishes that you have to do all the time. So we typically like to hand wash just because we do want these to last forever. If you are somebody that cooks a lot and you just want something super high quality that eliminates you having to have like several sets of measuring cups, then this is the one that you should go. Moving over to the kitchen table over here. So when we were moving into our house, we really thought long and hard about things that we wanted to invest in and things that we wanted to save on. And we decided that our kitchen table was one of those things that we just wanted to go ahead and invest in. So we got this beautiful, very simple little oak table from Article, and then we also got these black chairs that we absolutely love. So because we invested in the table, we thought that it would also be prudent to go ahead and register for some sort of placemat. Now these happen to match our space perfectly. We think that it complements kind of the black chairs and the oak look, and it's just kind of natural, and it adds really great texture to this room. None of this is specific to the one store that we registered at. You can find placemats anywhere that complement your space. These in particular we really like because you can pick them up and you can just like shake them over the trash can and lots of crumbs and everything come out. And they're also really easily wiped down with like Clorox wipes or something like that if you're worried about disinfecting things. But ultimately this protects our table from big temperature changes that could be caused by like hot bowls or leaky glasses or something like that that would kind of ruin the tabletop. So placemats for us, oh, a must. They have really done a great job of taking care of this table that we want to have forever. Kind of along the same lines, this is so simple and so silly, but these are cork coasters. There is nothing that annoys me more in my type A little self than having a coaster that doesn't do anything. Because then what's the point of the coaster if the condensation is running off and getting on your table anyway? Do you know what I mean? So these cork coasters specifically do such a good job of soaking up the liquid and they are dirt cheap. We ended up buying like three or four packs of these and these are just all over our house. But it's just the most simple thing. I think you could get a pack of four for like five bucks. It's so easy to be tempted by those beautiful like agate coasters. But I promise you, if you you really want to protect your furniture this is a great way to go so practical and it's one of those things that you shouldn't even probably register for you should just go buy for yourself don't look too hard at this because i did just whip this out of the dishwasher and it definitely still has cheese on it but just goes to show how often we use this. And this is our microplane zester. Now I use this as a cheese grater, a zester. It kind of does all of our grating needs. And traditionally I had always used one that looked like this. This was a much more just traditional cheese grater type tool. And I love having handheld graters, not box graters. I did not understand the difference between these two until I actually owned this. This is such a good job of finely shredding those hard cheeses that are pretty hard to grate in a traditional cheese grater. We eat so much like Parmesan and Pecorino Romano. This has just been the perfect addition. It's also a great way to properly zest your fruits when your recipes call for it because my cheese grater would do a fine job, but this one is just better. We really probably need two of them because it's always dirty and I'm just like pulling it out of the dishwasher and using it. Shh, don't tell anybody because it's kind of gross, but we love it. I have talked about this thing no less than 55 times, but this is the Airscape coffee canister. Again, very similar to the fruit basket. Before we owned something like this, I was like, that's just an extra thing to sit out and collect dust on a counter. 
No, no, no. Brian brought to the table a coffee grinder when we got married, and I did not realize the difference in taste between freshly grinding your beans every day and not until I had experienced that. And for me, as a really big and avid coffee drinker, that is something that's important to me. So, as you probably guessed, we buy whole bean coffee, and we wanted a way to keep it fresh. Like, putting it in the freezer just really wasn't getting the job done for us. And so, enters this canister. It has this little sealing lid on top, and then on the inside, you just lift up this little mechanism here and pull it out and listen, you'll hear the air like coming back into the can. And then your coffee beans and everything are nestled down inside. You just press this top all the way down and you can hear the air being sucked out. And then it's sealed, no beans can get out, and it's keeping your coffee super duper fresh. We ended up gifting this to two people in our family this year because we feel that strongly about it. Another often talked about item on this channel is the Silpat baking mat. This has done a really great job in helping us eliminate waste because we don't have to use parchment paper or aluminum foil for most of our jobs. Now, full disclaimer, we still like to use aluminum foil for super messy jobs like bacon or something like that because cleaning the bacon grease off of this silicone mat is not the easiest thing to do. But on the whole, we use these for most everything else. This is a half sheet size, definitely the best size for most of our pans. I pulled out a little cookie sheet here to kind of show you how it fits on there. And you can see it's a little small for this pan, but on the whole covers most of it. So if you were making cookies, you could just put them on here and everything slides off so nicely. There's none of this like trying to scrape it off with a spatula, it's not sticking to your pans, your pans aren't having to be washed as often. Just overall, it makes cleanup so much easier and eliminates a lot of waste. So it's kind of a win-win. They are a little bit cumbersome to wash, I will warn you of that. But beyond that, they have been a major game changer and I cannot recommend those enough. This is the colander that you didn't know that you needed. And this is an over the sink colander, which means that these little arms extend out and sit on your sink so that you don't have to place this into your sink if it's dirty and then pour your pasta on top. Now we use this for so many things. You can use this for the traditional things like draining pasta, but this is also a really great way to wash a lot of your produce at once. We made a big Brussels sprout dish the other night and I dumped all of them in here and washed them really well. And then was able to like take the additional leaves off of them all over the sink. So so I didn't get my entire counter dirty or anything like that. It is a big colander, I will say. Like, it wouldn't hurt to maybe have a smaller colander on hand and then have this for bigger jobs, but this is one of those things that I wouldn't trade for anything, and I'm very happy that it's taking up plenty of space in our kitchen because it's super duper useful. Last but not least is our trusty Dutch oven. This is one of those things that I did not know the power or value in it, truthfully, when I registered for it because it's perfect for so many different things. Now our Dutch oven specifically is from the brand Le Creuset and I loved the colors with this kind of smoky gray and the gold just because I thought it would look nice in our kitchen. You can find Le Creuset Dutch ovens anywhere and there are also a lot of brands that are just as good that are a lot cheaper like Staub I think is a really good one and their prices are a little bit lower. So we got a 7.25 quart Dutch oven and it has been perfect for our needs. Think beyond soups when you think about a Dutch oven. Yes, it is perfect for that especially in this large size so that we can make it in bulk and put some things in the fridge. It's also wonderful because it can transfer from your stovetop into your oven. So we've made an entire pot roast in this before. It can withstand really, really hot temperatures and the inside of this is non-stick, which is just so easy to clean. It's so easy to care for. And I think that we use this at least once a week, if not more. I feel like this one pot can eliminate the need for so many different sizes of pots and pans and saucepans and things like that because it is so multi-purpose. Genuinely, I can't say enough good things about this. It's so high quality, heavy duty, useful. I could probably go on for days talking about all the things we love in our kitchen our knives, our knife block, cutting boards, our everyday plates and glasses. But since those are so commonplace, I wanted to make sure that this video was filled with things that you didn't know that you needed. So I really hope this video was helpful. If you have any other favorite kitchen gadgets that you feel like people need to know about or something that you registered for that you were just over the moon about, please leave them in the comments below because I know that a lot of people will find that helpful as they try to outfit their registries with very useful, thoughtful items instead of just throwing a bunch of junk on there that they may not ever use. If you like this video, then like it. Stick around, subscribe, join the community, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.